I shall put the draft resolution to the vote now. Will those in favor of the draft resolution contained in document S-2024-254 please their, raise their hand. Those against? Abstention. The result of the voting is as follows. 14 votes in favor, zero vote against, one abstention. The draft resolution has been adopted as resolution 27-28-2024. In its agreement on the obligation of the parties in conflict to respect international law, including international humanitarian law and international human rights law. D10 have always supported the call for an immediate ceasefire in Gaza as a fundamental step. For this reason, and in respect for the Holy Month of Ramadan, we have proposed the present resolution that it demands an immediate ceasefire during this second period, leading to a permanent and sustainable uh, ceasefire. At the same time, the draft resolution demands the immediate and the unconditional release of all hostages and emphasizes that humanitarian access must be allowed to address their medical and other humanitarian needs. United States support for these objectives is not simply rhetorical. We're working around the clock to make them real on the ground through diplomacy because we know that it is through only through diplomacy that we can push this agenda forward. We're getting closer to a deal for an immediate ceasefire with the release of all hostages, but we're not there yet. Now let's be clear. A ceasefire could have come about months ago if Hamas had been willing to release hostages, months ago. Instead, Hamas continues to stand in the way of peace, to throw up roadblocks, cower in tunnels beneath Gaza cities and behind uh, under civilian infrastructure and hide among the civilian population. So today my ask to members of this council and to member states in every region of the world is this. Speak out and demand unequivocally that Hamas accepts the deal on the table. Security Council resolutions are binding. We call on the parties concerned to fulfill their obligations under the United Nations Charter and to take due action as required by the resolution. We expect the state with significant influence to play a positive role on the party concerned, including by using all necessary and effective means at their disposal to support the implementation of the resolution. To this end, all harm to civilians must cease immediately, and the offensive against Gaza must be prevented at once. A ceasefire during the months of Ramadan is only the first step that must serve as a basis 
leading to a lasting, sustainable ceasefire and the early return of the people of Gaza who are forced to flee their homes. We must not return to this moment endlessly since the six months that have taken place since the 7th of October. The Hamas actions that have repeatedly been condemned by all members of the Security Council in their national capacity. Uh, Israel responded with an inhumane crimes and the collective punishment of the Palestinian people, as a result of which more than 32,000 entirely innocent citizens have died, the majority of whom are women and children. Just think about those numbers. I would also like to remind you that immediately and unambiguously Russia condemned what took place on the 7th of October uh, and there's no need to continue speculating on that subject. You know first, we know firsthand what international terrorism is. Unfortunately, we faced a monstrous manifestation of it. Uh, it's brutal face uh, of, the, of terrorism once again. The 22nd of March terrorist attack committed on the territory of our country took at least 143 entirely innocent lives. We express our appreciation to the E10, all of you, for having put forward this resolution, and we welcome its adoption by the Council. This must be a turning point. This must lead to saving lives on the ground. This must signal the end of this assault of atrocities against our people. A nation is being murdered. A nation is being dispossessed. A nation is being displaced for decades now but never at this scale since the Nakba. Never this openly, from Tantura to Gaza, from 1948 to 2024, we have endured. We have survived. We have resurrected, only to face death once again. Life must prevail in Gaza, must prevail in Gaza. Freedom must prevail in Palestine. The Palestinian representative here is lying through his teeth when he says that his people want to live side by side with Israel. By the way, as you probably know, he does not represent Hamas, he does not represent the Gazans, they did not choose him to speak for them. His leader, President Abbas, refuses to even condemn the massacre, and he continued to pay terrorists. After Israel withdrew from Gaza, the Palestinians elected Hamas, a terrorist organization. They elected a terror organization. Hamas converted every inch of Gaza into a terror war machine, right under the UN's nose maybe with the help of some of the UN's agencies, like UNRWA. And Hamas initiated ceaseless attacks on Israeli civilians throughout the past 18 years. Today, Hamas is the most popular movement among Palestinians. And according to every poll, the vast majority of Palestinians support Hamas's massacre on October 7th. This is the reality you should face and you should address. This council, Israeli blood, is cheap. This is a travesty and I'm disgusted.